Kerala is a small state in the southern part of India, wrapped in folklore and mythology. In the past, most Tharavads had their own shrine known as the Kavu, a small structure surrounded by trees, bushes and other plantations that is added to surrounding ecology and represented goddess Devi, Bhagavati and Kali. There are around 10,000 temples in Kerala, big and small put together, and each has its own festivity, popularly known as Puram. The attendance to these festivities varies from several hundreds to 20,000 people. Kerala is also known for its religious tolerance as even though Hinduism is in the forefront, other religious communities such as the Christians and Muslims coexist harmoniously. In Hinduism, representation of God in his idol form is the oldest and foremost form of worship. Whether it is a mere picture in a calendar of a tea shop or the actual murti, meaning the idol in a temple, the presence of God infuses a blind devotion in the trusting townsfolk and gives them a renewed strength and protectiveness. Then, can one imagine what it would be like if these people were able to behold God before them in actual flesh and blood? This is Nandan. He's an auto driver and also a carpenter. However, in Payanur, he's better known as a Theyam artist. Theyam is a popular form of ritual, also known as God's Dance, and is found in most parts of northern region of Kerala, the Malabar. Nandan is accompanied by his team of five people, his helper, two Chenda players and his two sons. Three years back, Nandan's father and guru, who was also a Theyam artist, his leg had been amputated because of a fire accident during one of his performances. Today, Nandan has been invited by this family to perform the Tiyam as a token of thanks to their lord, Muttappan. The puja rituals and rites for Muttappan are performed by the Tiyar community. By you know, Muttappan is revered with an adoring devotion. As a Theyam artist, Nandan adorns the form of 
ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಮುತ್ತಪ್ಪನ್ His face is painted in a riot of grand colors and as other embellishments are put on Nandan transforms himself into the dazzling form of the divine being Beautiful columns are drawn to invoke the presence of the supreme Muttappan is a personification of Lord Shiva and he is offered fish and meat and toddy by his devotees reverberates with a mystic divinity and the onlookers stand transfixed in deep reverence for this dearly loved god muttappa <laughs> He dances to the mesmerizing beats of the chenda and sways to the hymns sung. Flowers are offered in obeisance and oil lamps are lit to mark the holiness of the occasion. <laughs> Thank you. 
പ്രായമുള്ള പുസ്തകത്തിൽ അല്ലേ പല്ലകം പാമ്പ് ചെറുതാണ് വേഷം ഉണ്ടാവില്ലേ അല്ലേ അതുപോലെ എൻ്റെ ആൺപടി എന്തിരിക്കുന്ന ഖരത്തിനൊക്കെ പുസ്തകം കൊടുക്കാം കർമ്മങ്ങളിൽ ചെയ്യണ്ട ഇവിടെ അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യാം In this avatar the lord consumes these exceptional offerings blesses people irrespective of caste or religion and even predicts the future for a blessed few for the devotees it is as though their god has materialized right before their eyes muttappan would grant all their wishes and fulfill their longings Muttappan is there to take care of them all. There are different stages for the whole process of a, an impersonator getting transferred transformed into a spirit. The moment when kodiyile kodukka there is a uh, there is a ritual that the owner of the temple or the palliyara or or the place of worship uh, the owner gives a uh, vettile uh, code that is gives the adayalam or the or the or the uh, or the sig, sig, sign sign uh, to do this ritual and the date is date of the ritual is fixed the moment the the this first uh, ritual starts then this impersonator starts feeling that he is that spirit probably the first breaking point the first point where he starts feeling you know the transformation within him and slowly it develops for 40 41 days or 45 days one mandala period and during which time the whole village will treat this impersonator the theyam man the man who does the role of theyam equal to god as god god had dates sir they respect him they touch his feet they they believe that this man is going to be the god arvind is mowing the lawn in an employee's garden when he is not doing his gardening work he goes fishing he is not idle even for a single moment and when the call comes for him he does what seems to elevate him today arvind has to don the vesham or the guise of mahavishnu the lord supreme it is that glorious day in his life where he will become the supreme spirit swathed in deep blue as the transformation of an everyday worker into the lord is being carried out religiously arvind is in a pensive mood arvind in his divine avatar is taken in a small tempo van by a few helpers to a house in a few moments the town's people will start seeing him as lord vishnu incarnate adorned in all his brilliance and grandeur A small puja is conducted to invoke the power of the Lord in the impersonator. The puja arrangements prepare the onlookers for the events they are about to witness when Arvind will become a beloved and resplendent god. In his powerful form, the Lord then walks the streets and people revel in joy to see their god strolling majestically before them the impersonator does short dance movements and ambles along with other gods following behind in the fray people are captivated by the presence of the supreme being 
and they seek blessings and favors with intense devotion. Women come forward with fruits, money, and touch the feet of the gods to invoke their blessings. So transformation gets into his the feel feel of transformation gets into its into the actor's mind, not actor, impersonator's mind, from the very beginning, and the whole process of Mendel process, working process, goes on for a mandala, and at the end of the period, you know when the actual the actual uh, 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 the actual performance or the ritual takes place among uh, the believers. It's not audience; it's only believers. And among the believers, the procession starts. The moment he looks into the mirror, after getting up, after after putting on the dress costumes, um, the, he looks into the mirror as a as a traditionally uh, conceived uh, de device. And the moment he looks into the glass, he realizes that I am such and such uh, spirit. And then he takes somebody takes away the mirror, or he throws away the mirror, and then he starts his possessed dance. Unni Krishnan is preparing himself for the evening. He is chewing his betel leaves and enjoying his leisurely moments. However, his mind is occupied with intense thoughts about the forthcoming evening. He and his team have been invited to perform Muriyate in a family temple. The lamps are lit. Unni Krishnan is getting ready by drawing the kalam and he is slowly getting into the spirit of Goddess Kali. is adorning the makeup of Kali and others are engaged in the initial preparation of the ceremony. Each of the processes, the drawing of columns, the lighting of lamps to adorning the makeup of Kali invokes in him the power of the fierce goddess which culminates in a frenzied dance and avatar of the very supreme itself. is a ritual where Goddess Kali fights an Asura, a demon, Darikan, and kills him eventually. The ritual unfolds as a drama wherein the spirit of Kali possesses the impersonator and he dances wildly, engulfed by the divine presence. Two people are shown holding a screen and from there starts the enactment of the drama. 
Munni Krishnan has transformed into the goddess Kali and the fight between Kali and Darigan ensues with the sound of chenda, fire and hymns. The entire surroundings are transformed into an arena where believers experience a raging presence of the spirited goddess. The impersonator Unni Krishnan has transgressed mortal realms and the surrounding fervent devotees see him as the very embodiment of Kali and throng to seek his blessings. As the position peaks to its summit, the impersonator reaches a state of exhaustion and ultimately rests. the relationship between the uh, between the, uh, the the spirit and the uh, shaman the shaman allows the spirit to enter into his psyche by by you know by his bhakti probably because of the devotion and shaman gets into him he allows himself to be possessed by the by the spirit. Whereas in theater the same the same analogy is there but uh, uh, you know the difference is that the actor consciously tries to understand the character and he never allows the character to get possessed of him. Gets possessed and at some point in certain uh, rituals they fall down, the unconscious. Idu beri kanda, am undu wkti gal, nyanggal ana. Idu nyanggal dan niyoga mana. Nyanggal ub, ninggal ay pole, saatharan karil saatharan karya ana. Yenal, kolanggal ani umbo, nyanggal dewanggal ay marum, a shakti suru banggal ay marugi ana.